Over the past decade, esports have transformed from niche tournaments to billion dollar spectacles. Major companies like MasterCard, Logitech, and Red Bull have recognized the immense potential, partnering with top teams like G2 Esports to engage with their millions of passionate fans. That's our big goal. We want to be recognized as one of the very few truly global esports organizations in this space. Esports is an industry that has been growing so much and changing year on year and you have to adjust. It's not your job where you have the typical nine to five working hours. My name is Sabrina Rati. I'm the COO of G2 Esports. I wanted to work in an environment where, unlike traditional sports, where not everything was set in stone yet, where you can really shape the commercial landscape. And above all, I wanted to do it in an industry that for me is the future of entertainment and that's gaming and esports. So these were like two elements that came together. I wanted to work with a digital future audience and I wanted to work in an environment that is future facing in terms of its commercial proposition and the opportunities that you can actually create. I don't think every week is like the other. The responsibilities and tasks are mostly focused on being one of the contact person for our board and our shareholders and our key partners. I try to work on my meeting free Friday. I always try to reserve as the time where I do strategy and try to work on the long-term vision for the respective departments that I'm overseeing. And those departments for me are commercial consumer products, it's events, it's creators, as well as digital and innovation. When I started in esports in 2018, we spend a lot of our time educating partners, potential partners, stakeholders in the industry. There was little to no knowledge about gaming and esports, so we had to fight the usual misconceptions about gamers and gaming, and we had to explain why it's a super fascinating industry. And probably one of the only areas that helps you authentically engage with the consumer of tomorrow. I think that definitely has changed now. The conversation has shifted from do we really need it to how do I engage with it on the long term and how do I find my authentic sweet spot in the industry. I think that's probably the most exciting part of our role at G2 is that we get to bring both worlds together. And if you want to address a younger digital savvy audience, there is really no other way around gaming. Esports obviously being the pinnacle of gaming is an extremely valuable asset for brands alike to look at. Brands that do creative and authentic storytelling really stand out. Because it's still a younger industry, as a brand with a given budget, you are definitely able to achieve very healthy and strong ROIs with a comparably smaller investment. When two brands come together, they create something new. Going with the usual is not going to work because you're going to tell the story of two brands coming together. Having a marketing team that has a good understanding and a good feeling for how to tell the story of this collaboration is super essential. Pairing this with innovation is one of the secret sources of G2 because we are very obsessed with doing things that were never done before. And our brand partners know this. They know they can look at us as, as a sparing partner that helps them not only navigate the space, but also helps them do things that they otherwise wouldn't accomplish. Should be strategic thinkers with a passion for leadership, people that like to build new business models, people that like to work internationally, and that obviously have the ambition to lead big international teams across regions and across time zones. This is a very fast paced environment that for me is super energizing, might not be the case for others. It's not necessarily a job where you have the typical nine to five working hours. One lesson that is important for me is that you own your career path and no one else does. I constantly pushed for what my next opportunity can be. Put yourself out there, be willing to work on yourself, um, grow your experience, and build a pathway for yourself to get to the role or get to the company where you want to work at some point. Stay true to your values as you climb up the career ladder, 
there will be politics and there is power play, but I think most important, at least for me, was always to stay true to what I believe my values are and how I want to operate in a private and in a business context and don't derail from that. We are still at a time where market consolidation is still happening. So I think the way our esports ecosystem looked a year ago to how it's going to look in two years is going to be a big difference. Stronger business models that will prevail and others will dissolve. That's definitely a change that we will have to react to. The biggest impact for my role, hopefully going forward, is less focus on our core business and more focus on our global expansion, diversifying our revenues, on entertaining a broader audience because we have kind of ticked the, ticked the box on our core business and can venture out even more going forward. Mm -hmm.